Now there's one upgrade we have to do after upgrading to our bigger Dana axles and their bigger brakes, and that's our brake master cylinder and the booster. With all the open space underneath the hood of our JK, the stock master and booster come out easily enough. Just make sure you hang on to the stock fasteners, because you're going to need them in a couple minutes. Now I just got to separate all this snake, fish, all this up and out of here. Connect it to the brake pedal. Oh, there it goes. Connect the underlines. There you go. Now swapping these parts out is actually pretty simple. You don't have to go out and find each piece individually. Just go get Mopar's Jeep Wrangler Brake Upgrade, which comes with a bigger booster and a bigger master. Even though the booster is physically bigger than the stock unit, there's still plenty of room under the hood to get the job done. The booster bolts to the bracket first, then the bracket bolts to the firewall followed by attaching your booster's push rod to the brake pedal. With the booster in place, we can now assemble the new master cylinder. And that starts with lubing the rubber seals for the reservoir with a little clean brake fluid. And that's followed by simply pushing the reservoir in place until you hear it snap in. And now's a great time to drain the old brake fluid completely out of your vehicle because you don't want to mix the old with the new. Now once it's installed, we're not going to hook up the brake lines themselves because we still have to bleed the air out of the master cylinder. And last but not least, don't forget to hook up the vacuum line that goes to your booster because otherwise you're not going to have any assisted brakes at all. And there you go. All we have to do is hook up our brake lines and bleed the brakes out, and we'll have upgraded brakes to go along with our upgraded axles.